So one question that you can ask is what tools does Dinococcus have that other organisms don't? It turns out there's this protein called DDRC. So if you imagine like a, I don't know, a loaded mouse trap, right? It's like loaded and primed in a specific kind of shape. And in this shape, it scans along DNA and it says, are you broken here? Nope. Okay, next. And then it scans somewhere else, says, is it broken here? Nope. But let's say it finds a part of the DNA that's broken, that mousetrap mechanism shut, like snaps shut and uh, traps the break. And it traps it in a very specific way. And this has a lot of functional consequences, one of which is it neutralizes it. It prevents the break from getting damaged further. Another thing that does is it acts like a little molecular beacon. It tells the cell, hey, over here, there's damage, come, come and fix it. In theory, we can put this gene, DDRC, into any organism, maybe plants, animals, humans, um, and it should increase the DNA repair efficiency of that cell. So why would we want this? Maybe we might want to make a crop that's more resistant to UV, right? Because a crop that's more resistant to UV can survive harsher environments. Currently, when we think of cancer treatments, we always think of treating cancer once it's already happened. What if we can like prevent the cancer from happening in the first place?